So I've placed the 19mm uh, straight router bit in the router table and we're just going to set the height. We'll leave that height for all of our cuts for our T-Track except for the 2mm deep cut for our miter slider. The only thing we'll be adjusting is our fence for all of our T-Track cuts. Um, just get a piece of T-Track, lay it on the table right up to the router bit, make sure your router's turned off obviously, and then get a square or a little ruler, slide it along that T-Track until it just contacts the blade. And what you want to do is just drop the, um, the router bit down until it is just a fraction higher than the T-Track. Now, it's less than a millimetre, probably less than half a millimetre, but I can still feel it above the T-Track. And that just means that you know that the T-Track, when it's seated into that channel, is going to be sitting slightly below the surface of the MDF. Because you don't want it sitting proud, or it's going to get in the way of all other bits of timber and you'll never get a nice flat surface. Once that height is set, you can lock that off and we're ready to start cutting our channels. I know that my two channels closest to the edge of my piece are going to be 30 mil from the edge, that's what I decided. So I'm just going to double check that my fence is 30 mil from the uh, closest blade of the router bit. And then I can lock that off. And then I can do my uh, cuts on either end of my jig first by just sliding the piece. This is a little bit smaller, I just had this for demonstration. Sliding the piece the whole way across, flipping it around and doing the other end. To do our two channels in the centre, you're just going to have to set that depth. Uh, you'll have to bring your uh, fence all the way back. If that doesn't give you quite enough clearance, because my, mine doesn't, I actually had to do it the other way. I just um, clamped a piece of MDF to act as a secondary fence because my table is slightly wider than it is deep and that just gave me that depth that I needed. So that will allow you to cut your two end channels and your two centre channels. It's exactly the same process for cutting the channel on your fence. You'll just um, lower that depth down to about 20 millimeters, that's what I decided the T-Track needed to sit in from the edge of the fence. Run the whole fence over like that. And then in order to cut the really shallow channel on the underside for our miter slider, we just need to drop this right down so that it's only about 1.5 mil above the surface of the table. And you can check that by using a really fine ruler or something like that hold your piece up against it and, and measure that way so that you have a nice reference to look at. That's locked off. And then you just need to measure that really carefully because that the um, position of the, the trench from the fence needs to be corresponding to the distance between your miter slot and your blade on your table saw. So in my case, I figured out that if I have 100 mil between the blade and the fence, that lets me have a little bit of excess that I then cut off with my table saw to get that zero clearance edge. After you've created your board and your fence, you'll notice that you have one little knob and T-nut left, and that's in there so you can create a little stop. Uh, this is basically two little offcuts of MDF with a little 8mm wide channel routed through that. What that allows you to do is to put this uh, little T-nut into the track and then slide your stop up to there and tighten it off. And the reason you would do that is if you're trying to do uh, a certain angle over and over, for instance like on a table leg where you had four of them or more, or some other component of cabinetry where you needed the same angle on multiple pieces, this stop just allows you to set that angle using your fence and the stop and then every piece that goes in there will be cut in exactly the same way. There's a couple of other types of stops which you can build and I'll go through 
uh, maybe in some later videos about some really specific things that you can do with this jig like cutting uh, a taper on all four sides of a table leg but I just wanted to walk you through the basic construction uh, so you could get it built and you can start using it yourself and some of those finer details we'll walk through in some, some more specific videos later on.